Welcome to our beginner to professional series. We want to continue basically to look at this installation properly. We want to see our first setup on the 60, 65 cm dish and um, we want to track this in Tesla 65. We have two frequency this frequency, this frequency, symbol rate of this, symbol rate of this, polarization of this, and polarization of this. So the frequency is um, the number you will input that will make you to track exactly 68, 68.5e. So on your decoder or inside your track finder, most of them are pre-installed. So you don't need to struggle to get this. Just search for this. Search your satellite, 68.5e, your frequency, your symbol rate. So any of this will work, but you can use this or you can use this. So this, this polarization is simply the LMB, the skew. So this is, this is, this is vertical, be skewed like this understand so this is lmb skew they call it skew s k e w if i'm using this frequency it's already inputted in the satellite finder or your decoder so this polar, polar polarity or polarization simply means how you're going to position this lmbf so i'm going to use this so i'm going to position this it might not really be full flat like this it can be something like this like this one now they can call this let's see this one is the pointer i'm uh, using your clock this can be 12 o'clock this can be three o'clock like this this thing pointing here three o'clock this thing pointing down like this six o'clock this thing pointing like this the lmb pointing like this can be nine o'clock and the lmb pointing up it's called 12 o'clock so it's 12 o'clock pointing here it's nine o'clock pointing here is six o'clock sorry pointing here is three o'clock sorry pointing here is six o'clock pointing here is nine o'clock and pointing here is 12 o'clock so let me see this vertical let me use let me use um six o'clock or uh, five five o'clock or six o'clock uh this six o'clock let me use seven o'clock seven or eight o'clock so let's go so let's get our sat finder first of all you get your tools my spinals and my screwdrivers this is my cable this is f connector f connector so you connect one to the LMBF, this is a dry LMBF port. I can use any of them. Any of them. I have dual, I have single. I can use this. This one is single. This one is single mount LMBF. This dual mount LMBF. So I can use any of them. I can use. Let me just insert this here. So this one will go to my third finder. I'll go to my site finder. Remember in our, our last lecture, I told you that T68 is 68. 68 will be more of like this. It will come more, more to my left hand side. Something like this. And it's going to face down. That is why I can put it on this pole because it's not going to go up. If you go up, the pole will prevent it from going up so I know that it's going to face down because I told you that the the lower the degree the lower the degree the higher the degree if the degree is seven degree you take it up why if it is higher you take it down so this is 68 degrees is lower so it, so it's 68 degrees rather is higher so it will go down seven degrees 
it's lower to go up so this is 68 degree it's of a lower degree down so it's go down to go down and it's a bit come to my to my left hand side so this is how it's going to be positioned so let me use this one as a this one is 68 we come like this then we go down seven degree we go far like that and it will go up so take note of that and this take it back so let's focus on this so let's get our tracker fix our tracker so we want to see so you look for you look for 68e is 68.5e so i look for the frequency the frequency is i want to use this frequency 12522 so i search for 12522 12522 is this vertical so that it is so this is it so i've got the signal here i've got the strength and the quality the strength is 67 fluctuating the quality is zero the major determinant to know if you've got a signal or not is not just not it's not only the strength but the quality the quality must get to a particular level for the signal to come out so this is zero uh let me keep this you can fix it on the ground or oh, let's see let's see how we can do let me take it back so take it back coming up go back to 68 degree five or one seven two five vertical so this is it so remember i told you that the polarization the polarization is vertical this one like this is horizontal so i have to move it so let me say uh seven o'clock i can try from seven o'clock make sure that the cable is not inside the dish if not your signal will be blocked make sure that there's no obstruction between this and this so like that is so let's see how uh, i, I said we're coming a bit left so you take it a bit left so let's take it up and see see you can see it came up and went off you can see it has gone down to let me see if i can put this in on the floor okay i think it's a bit better like this so let's see we got 35 okay we've got 38 we've got 40. come back to zero Okay, so it has come to 36, 40. Okay, so now see, let's see this play, this Q. You can see here it's still fluctuating between 
37 41 so yeah from here you can you can turn it here and see if it will increase or not so it has gone back to zero it has come back. 38 39 so don't be sometimes the struct finder may give you lower uh, quality but when you you scan into your decoder the quality may come up so let's see let's go and see if we got the signal the signal is still there let's see slow no signal that's gone up I shifted Okay, let's go again. We got a signal, so I'm trying to tighten up the dish. So, I'm trying to. Okay, we got a signal too. It has increased too. 52. So we got the signal for 68E. So let's come again. You see, you can see how it's positioned, it's facing down because it is 68 degree. I told you that the bigger the degree, the lower it goes down. So 68 degree is a high degree, but the elevation will come down. So like that it is, you can see 68 is about a, a bit to my left, facing down. So that's how you track your 68 degree east. Thank you. Bye-bye.